This is the craziest water harvesting system for chickens by far. And I have a pool pump to do filtering in here. I have a sand filter and a sand filter in here and a big tank I built out of plywood. Crazy, crazy, crazy. But let me tell you the whole story from the beginning and you'll understand how I ended up with this crazy watering system. Okay, let's get started. So we started off with a maple distiller that was in this place and we added to that making it the chicken coop. After picking up the chicks from the post office, within a week we had them in here and they grew up here for a few weeks. Like everybody else, we had those regular plastic round watering systems. And um, it worked okay because the chickens were small and we had to change the water every two days or three days. The chickens were growing very quickly and so I realized we need more something more substantial in the watering supply. So we added a, a tank outside with pipes here and here's some video on what it looked like. Um, on the chicken water system, we had these cups, but sometimes they break. But the problem with them is they freeze during the winter. And then we have these nipples. I, explain, I changed it to a nipples like this. The chickens would drink out of the nipples, but if we put uh, a bucket down, the chickens would prefer to drink out of the bucket, not the nipples because they would just peck, peck, peck on the nipples and not get enough water. So this is how they like to drink. They like to drink like this. They put their beak in the water and they lift up. And that's how we finally decided to put a trough in like this one. So I built this trough. As I was installing this trough, I was emptying the old barrel, emptying the water system and I smelled this nasty water, brown water. I opened up my contraption, my barrel, where the rainwater goes in, and it is super, super dirty. You can see some stuff crawling everywhere. Super, it smells in here. No, I never realized that the tank inside got so dirty and so smelly, I, no wonder the chickens got sick, some of them. So that's when I stopped installing the trough and I built this system. Now, this is a really elaborate system. I don't think anybody wants to do that. But watch this video, how I built this system. The more unique thing is the inside, how I used plywood and then sealed the plywood and made a tank out of it. All right, with this water system failed me miserably. I thought I had something good. I put it in an insulated box. I put a cover on it. I made it totally dark. I made sure there's a heater in there, but out with the old and I'm gonna build a new system that will be super, 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 super nice. All right, that's what I'm doing here. The water smells. All right, I want to show you a water harvesting system that most people have, and that's the barrel type. And my neighbor has one, I've never seen it, but I want to go and look at it and give you an idea to compare it to what the system I'm doing. All right, let's go. Yeah. So this is my watering system here. So we have, you have a filter in the top. That's my filter. Yeah. Got her fed just sure. like we had talked about. Right. Filter through the hole. And there's a filter. filter coming out. Oh, there's a filter there. Yes. 
Okay, you have a filter there. Filter there, then it goes through a manifold that I built. Yeah, a little pump, Amazon pump, about 23 yeah, yeah. bucks. Yes. I like the pump because I want to keep that water circulating 24 seven. Oh, so circulating right now? Yes. I want to see the inside of this because mine was brown, dirty. Smell. And we're going to hope mine isn't. <laughs> <laughs> I think you have a nice system. Oh my goodness, it's clean. And the filter, of course. And the filter. This, yes. this is the, really the only filter. That and this little bit of here to catch the heavy stuff yeah, coming out of the gutter. These, uh, yeah, but this, this is the filter. That is the filter. I clean that maybe once a week. Been here for a month. Probably been in Do here. Do you ever clean it out? Usually once a month. If it starts getting funky, I'll drain it and I'll refill this. Or if it, as long as we get rain, it stays nice. Yes. Overflow here. And we, yeah, now it's my overflow. And we just had the heavy rains the last couple of days, yeah, so yeah. we're pretty topped it's very off. Very clean for, for the system. You can see it's a little bit, uh, there's dirt uh, in the bottom. Yeah. But it's not. But naturally, yeah, yeah. you're going to end up with that. I haven't encountered winter yet, so oh, I just built this this spring. Drip. So you're gonna have to replace it to the nipples because these things the cup freezes up mm -hmm. and they cannot drink. And the only other thing is, like, I gotta clean the cups about once a week because you see they yeah. do get a little uh, yeah. moldy. Okay, very nice. After seeing my neighbor's uh, filtering system, uh, water harvesting system for his chickens. I realized I don't have to build a, such an elaborate thing. That was pretty close to what I wanted, except he still had to maintain, do some maintenance. Every so often, it gets full of algae, the green stuff, and some leaves inside, and the dirt at the bottom. And I don't want that. I don't want to clean it every so often, a month. So I want this to last for a year at least or more. Uh, 16 inches there. 16 inches to fit this by 24 inches. So <clears throat> having that in mind, that's what I'm gonna do, a four by four. Um, so this is four feet and four feet. So, so I got 34 inches to work with here. Okay. That's my plan, pump, filter, tank, and this is what I'm gonna build. Okay, let's get, get with the plan. We got the base ready full of gravel so I don't want snakes and stuff to go underneath so I built the box <clears throat> this box so I can um, insulate it from the bottom so I can see it. and so this box has a uh, pressure treated wood okay I give 65 it. Sixty-five years old. Okay. <laughs> Good job. He thinks it's twenty. Come, give it to me. <laughs> All right. So, here's my diagram. Uh, the tank, the pump, and the filter. The two, the filter. See there? Well, I built it. There's the pump. The filter and a tank. We'll see how it goes. Got everything built, but final preparations, I got the outlet for the overflow. Gotta get all the dust out, all right? By the way, I use all Milwaukee tools. Milwaukee, Milwaukee, whatever. Milwaukee there, Milwaukee. But no, Milwaukee doesn't sponsor me. It's just, if you once you start a brand, you have to have the same batteries. I cannot have different battery style. So I gotta stick with Milwaukee because I use the batteries in every other tool. Okay, that's why. It rained last night and this got wet on a, just this corner. I gotta dry it up quickly. Here's a plug for Milwaukee. Cleaning this, look here. Look at it, here's my hand. Just my both hands. It's such. It's holding to the wall. <laughs> Unbelievable. 
Mo Milwaukee, I hope you sponsor me. I think everybody has been thinking, how am I gonna put water in a plywood box? And that's the magic. I'm using Sealer Supreme by Bergstrom. This is the hardener or the, the activator, and this is the sealer. And you need to mix it together. You roll it up like this, and then you squeeze. See, it went through all the way. And then you open this metal section up. That's how I mix it. Make sure everything is well mixed. And you pour it into a bucket like this. <clears throat> squeeze this out to get most of the content out there. And that's how you do it. Okay. We cut the fleece in half. So, final finishing things I have to do. I've installed now all the uh, outlets. I've installed this outlet and this, and here and here just for testing. But I still have to make this preliminary filter I need to seal this so I'm gonna seal it with a sealer supreme so always uh, use a little container and then you have like 15 minutes to really use the product now the best way to get everything out is with like a ruler you get everything out this way all right there you go so I only have like 10 minutes after this but you can see there's some dark hasn't mixed properly so I mix it with my with my brush a little bit and I'm ready okay and here's what you do I take a a fleece now fleece comes from four inch wide strips I cut it down to to two inches you see that and the right length I have it pre-cut and I apply it into the corner there if you can see that I apply it in the corner uh, like that on both sides and then I take I apply it on both sides all the corners because I cannot get in there easily it's very tight and then I use the strips that I cut for that and I put it in a corner like right there all right unbelievable product over that and over that there you go like that all right now all you need to do is put a coat over that fleece and then you're done you made a container that's watertight this is a filter I'm building a preliminary filter for my for this unit my reservoir for the chicken coop and I paint the bottom and this will never leak. It is really an unbelievable product. All right, now I gotta do the corners up and down here. This corner, I wish it was shorter. Right there. I don't like it so long. So then you coat the entire thing, like that. To test this, will it hold water? Let's check it out. I got all plumbing done. Okay, first clean it out. That's the first clean out for now. Take that one. I'm gonna stop the water. I don't wanna fill it up all the way. The tank is not gonna leak. The well, I cannot afford to let the well run dry. So far, nothing is leaking. Everything looks good. It's not leaking, it's holding water. Wow. Now, 
need to install it permanently and get the system to work. circulating pump or to pull pump or whatever this is and that's it okay so a big shout out to Baker Supply Jack in Mount Pleasant that helped me get all the plumbing fittings together it wasn't for him I would probably make a big bigger mess my name is Jack uh, Baker Supply has been here since 1967 I've been doing plumbing work for 35 years. But it helped a lot to have somebody very knowledgeable about plumbing and I got everything together. It looks simple, but that's very effective. Thank you, Jack. So finally, I built this thing, everything got together. I moved it into place and my wife painted it so it matched the chicken coop. Then came the next problem, the gutter system. What a mess. The original gutter system was a fixed gutter and the water would just sit, uh, the leaves would sit in there and collect and when it rained, all that dirt would flow onto the filter and brown water and that's what caused the initial problem with the, the water system. All right, so, so the gutter will produce the same results as what you see here. See the, the oily brown water that comes out? If your gutter has, is full of um, debris, like leaves and, and twigs and whatever, it will do the same as this. And that's what happened to the tank. And this comes from this pile of uh, wood chips, okay? This wood chips produced that you can see the gutter is full of debris there and i just cleaned it a week ago so i set out to, to change the gutters to something that i can clean easily so the first gutter system was a gutter that flipped up so i have to put my gutter into play so here's the gutter you can see Water is dripping off, the gutter is not in use. Now I'm going to put the gutter into use, and that's it. So, that should work. If it's done and I had enough water, I just flip this up, and that's it. And it won't catch debris that sits there and rot and decay to make brown water. So that's what I want. So when I want the gutter to be operational, I just bring us down and it works good and it catches the water. And it worked pretty okay, but it was too clumsy and it, it, it was not very ru uh, rigid or rugged or it was not, um, it could not last. I, I, I didn't think it's going to last. Then my wife said, why don't we flip the gutter down? So on the other side of the chicken coop, I installed a, a gutter system that flipped down hopefully that the leaves would fall out but two different types this one you can see I left it overnight and this leaves collected so you want to keep this gutter clean by flipping it down let me flip this down okay flip this down here <clears throat> And, and then hopefully, let me see, the problem is it doesn't go far enough to get all the leaves out. You see that? I have to sweep it out. So really, I am not, I don't, it's an easier system to build, to have it just flip down, but you need to have it to flip up so what, the leaves can fall out we ended up taking that gutter system down. So then I tried a new system. I woke up one morning, four o'clock in the morning. I said, oh, I'm going to build the gutter system out of EPDM rubber. And here's some video on it where I tested a EPDM rubber gutter. A way to... So this can come up and down like this. Pretty tight down, yeah. 
Okay. Then if I pull, if I pull, it should go like this, see? Do, do, do. Aha. What if I do that? It pivots up like that, and that makes my trough, and it goes down and up like that. Okay. All right, that's my next experiment. So to, to get this to work, not that easy. Uh, all right, go. Hold on. Go again. More. Okay, that's it, done. So the back stitcher would work, but it's a little bit cumbersome. All right. After two days of trying to make this work and make it up and whatever, went to buy cord and all kinds of ideas, we are banding this idea and my wife, my wife came up with a brilliant idea. And I wish I did, but it's simple. And I guess that most ideas that simple are the best. And let me show you what she did. To test on my model roof, this is 28 inches. So I guess I can do 28 inches. Appreciate my wife coming up with this idea. Can you imagine? I don't cannot think of everything, but she came up with a very good idea. So let's say we put this there. All right. All right. Let's see if it works. So Here's the idea. It looks like it's working. When the gutter is not in use, we turn it upside down like that. And nothing gets into the, into the gutter. When it's in use, we want water, we just flip it. As simple, as simple as that. Wow, what an idea. I like it. It looks like it's gonna work. You flip it, like that. And then when you wanna use it, you flip it back. Nice. Okay. Works. All the leaves out. All the leaves in. Like PVC pipe, purple primer, and PVC glue. And that's it. No. Okay. There you go. Very nice. Yeah. My uh, water harvester is finally built. I need to put filter material in so I'm doing this um, I use some little bit bigger rock I got from a sand and stone place and and crushed stone we've washed all of this this is all pre-washed now so I'm gonna just use that and fill this up and that will be our filter so I also use landscape fabric um, to separate the stone and the sand from each other so they don't get mixed in. I hope it works. Okay, so. And that's because there's a gap. Look at the other side. I put my hand there. Oh, I cannot get my finger. See my finger there? So I got, I got the, I don't want the sand to block that there. So.
put it on top like that. So if you look at this, the water is going to come through here from the top into this section and then go all the way down and then water would come up this way. So I want the sand and the charcoal and be on this side. Okay. Let's see. Nice. All right. The girl's not going to go down. Now, you don't have to build an elaborate system like this. You can use two five gallon buckets, connect them with a pipe at the bottom, and do the same thing with an outlet at the top. You can do the same thing. It's less maintenance for me over a year, over two years. I don't want to keep cleaning uh, watering systems for chickens. See, I'm going to use uh, charcoal. I got this from Amazon. See how that works. Not necessary, but you can do it. Okay. So any chemicals, which I don't expect any chemicals, but the charcoal will be there to keep the charcoal down. Okay. Now, that's the... Then I got my other filter, preliminary filter where the gutters will spill in. I want to make sure that this is also will filter all the leaves and debris. So right now it's going to start raining and I'm going to see how this works. You can see a lot of leaves in there. Let me clean it quickly. Look how I clean it. Just like that. And then I flip it back. It starts raining. I can collect water. Oops, oh, sorry. I can collect water. Really, really nice. All right, that's the watering system. Took a long time to build. You can see the gutter in action. It's raining right now. Not too hard. But you can see the gutter is collecting rain, water, collecting the water, and it's coming in into the filter there. Coming in, and then the filter in turn. Let me open this up. You can see there. That flows up. Water comes in. I honestly believe there's an overkill for this type of system, water harvest system, but it works.